Hello Fox, if you're running Windows on your Steam Deck, do you want to make your Steam Deck screen color look more vibrant and pop? If your answer is yes, then you have come to the right place. And you guys can see on the right side of this video, the Steam Deck screen color just looks better compared to the one on the left. In this video, I will show you guys how to make this happen on your Steam Deck step by step. The level of screen color will be adjustable, so you can set at your own preference. This screen color tweak is achieved by installing AMD's official software. There is no third-party software involved. Please remember to follow the exact same step as in my video, otherwise it will not function properly. By the way, if you want to make your Steam Deck screen color vibrant and pop in the Steam OS, please check out this video on the screen. Now let's make this happen on your Steam Deck. Step 1. Install Unzip software. We need unzip the installation file during this tutorial. If you already have any unzip software on your Steam Deck, then you can just skip this step. Let's go to Google and type 7-zip and click search, and then just download the 7-zip installation .exe file. Once the download is finished, click open the file, then click yes, and click install. Just hit the close button after installation is done. That's all step 1. Install AMD graphics software in step 2. When I am referring to AMD graphics software here, please don't just go online and install AMD software on your Steam Deck. It wouldn't work. This software has to be a specific one, and the installation process has to be exactly the same as I show in this video, otherwise it will not work. The software download link is available under my video description. Let's scroll down the page. If you have Windows 11 on your Steam Deck, process to Windows 11 and download the AMD software version 22.5.1. Make sure you download exact the same version 22.5.1. I am using Windows 10 on my Steam Deck, so I will just go under Windows 10. On Windows 10, we still need to download the 22.5.1 version. Just make sure download 22.5.1 version. Just click the download button on the right side of the screen. It will take about 3 to 4 minutes to download. Just be a little bit patient here. Once the download is complete, then click open the folder. Please be careful, do not install the .exe file right away from here. Right click the software we just downloaded from AMD and select zip7, then click extract files. Click OK to extract all the files. It takes about 2 minutes to extract all the files. Now we can open the folder that was just extracted. Then go to the right top corner search bar on your windows and type ccc2-install.exe. Just click and run this installation file. If you have troubles to search this file, try to reboot your Steam Deck. It should resolve your issue. This installation process will take about 2 minutes again. After the process is finished, you can close the window. Then we need to shut down our Steam Deck and manually boot into Windows again. That's all step 2. After the Steam Deck booted into the Windows again, just type AMD settings under the Windows search bar. It should bring up the AMD software we just installed in step 2. Click and run this software. In step 3, I will talk about the two main features that our Steam Deck can benefit from this software. Also, I will show how to set them up. First, let's go under Create. On this page, we can see the games that we have been installed on our Steam Deck. Double click on the game and we will go inside of the settings. There are two main features that can really help us play games on Steam Deck. The first one is Radio Chill. If we have this feature unlocked, it will allow us to lock the game frame rate to a custom value so we can save some battery life by setting the FPS to a correct number. The next feature I think it really boosts the gaming experience on the Steam Deck. That is Custom Color. After unlock this feature, we can boost the Steam Deck screen to a more comfortable and vibrant level by just increase the saturation. I think the saturation setting level will be there for different people, so I am not going to give a value here. 
Just try to increase the value from 100 and find the one that you like the most. Just remember the feature we are setting here is just for one game. You can have individual settings for each game. Now let's move to the right top corner, click the setting icon and then click display. You can unlock the custom color feature for overall device here. This is the Steam Deck screen color. So once you change the saturation here, it will apply to the default screen saturation. I would consider this for no gaming mode screen color setting. As you guys can see, while I increase the saturation here, my desktop wallpaper color changes. That's pretty much all for this video. Please let me know under the comment below what's your best saturation setting. Please don't forget to hit the like button or subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching.